I know what you must be thinking. Why in the world does this video have no title on it? Well, the answer is this. I have some random stuff to talk about. Important stuff, but somewhat random. So, if you're feeling a little disconnected, don't worry, just write this stuff down for easy reference later. First up is that an inverse can also be written as arc. For example, sine inverse is the same as arc sine. Cosine inverse is the same as arc cosine. Tangent inverse is the same as arc tangent. Whenever you see this negative one or an arc, it means the same exact thing. <laughs> Moving onward. You know that when you have one over square root of two, you could rationalize it times root two over root two. That's gonna give us square root of two over two. This is how we've typically simplified things. However, sometimes when you see this, it's going to be easier to think about it the other way. So I just want you to keep in mind that square root of 2 over 2 can also be reverted back to 1 over square root of 2. Same goes for root 3 over 3. That can be converted to 1 over square root of 3. These unrationalized forms might be more useful in some of the stuff we're getting into. Ah, here we have our standard sine wave. Woohoo! Now, we haven't covered inverse graphs, but if we take the inverse of sine, let's switch all our x and y values. Woo! This is what our inverse sine graph looks like. Now, clearly, this does not pass the vertical line test, and therefore would not be a function. So, to get the inverse graph, what we do is we take a little segment here from this point to this point, only keeping this very small portion of the function. Observe. Notice that our domain now is from negative 1 to positive 1, nothing more, and our range, our y value options, range from negative pi over 2 all the way to pi over 2. Here's a chart showing all the inverse functions with their domain and range. So like we said, sine goes from negative 1 to 1 with a range of negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Uh, these r's right here just mean all real numbers. These are going to be your main important ones, but it'll be good to have all of these written down. So in summary, here's all the random things we talked about today. 